This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Lakewood, Colorado. I'm here with Jim Opperman. Since 2011, he has been your real estate coach in the way of buying and selling properties here, Denver, and surrounding areas. Thanks so much for joining us, Jim. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. Really, have you spent the majority of your life being a teacher, a coach, um, athletic director? Um, when you decided to close that chapter of your life, you decided to move on to a passion, which is real estate. Tell me why it is you got started in this particular industry. Well, throughout my whole career as a teacher and a coach and an administrator, in the summers I would build decks, I would build houses, I would remodel homes. So after I retired, I thought I'd get into the real estate business by flipping homes. Did that when the market was just terrible. Bought a couple houses, had to hold on to them, and couldn't sell them. So I got thinking, you know, maybe I ought to be a realtor. The guy I was working with was trying to talk my wife into being a realtor, and she uh, wasn't interested. I thought, you know, I, I love this, so I think that would be what I'd like to do. Excellent. I mean, obviously, as we, we play this game of life, um, one, of the, one of the games you don't want to lose at is that of real estate. I mean, it can really knock you out financially. Why is it important to have a, a coach in your corner, a professional, um, during those critical times? There's so many facets to real estate. You know, when you're buying or you're selling, there's just so many little pieces of it that people just don't understand. And uh, through the, my last four years, I've gotten to know how the whole transaction works real well with your contracts and your um, inspections and everything like that. And being a teacher at heart, I'm there teaching people to get through the process and make it as simple for them as possible. Excellent. Here in Colorado, I mean, it seems folks are flocking to Colorado right now. Real estate market is pretty good. Many of those are going to be first-time home buyers. Like you said, when you take these newbies, if you will, they've never done it before, is it kind of enjoyable to educate them along the way and uh, making sure they don't hit any of those pitfalls that can slow them down? You know, I treat all my people like my students. I I'm trying to help them cool. earn something that they would love to have. So when we walk into a house... I probably spend as much time pointing out the flaws of the home as the good things. I just sit back and listen, and after looking at five or six homes with somebody, I get a pretty good feel of what they're looking for. Excellent. Once we find what they're looking for, obviously the goal is to lock down a contract that both parties are happy with. I mean, really this art of negotiation is something you can help with. Um, Unluck sports, we've got a, a win-lose situation. This really is a win-win that really you can help navigate. Well, the way the market's been this last year, it's been kind of crazy. And so some of the first time, true first time home buyers say they want to get a house that's worth 240. We had to start looking at about 230, 225 because everything was getting so elevated in price. So it's made it hard for some of my true first time home buyers. Um, my, my folks that have been selling homes and downsizing have had a little bit easier time finding homes because they were having to go about 10 to 15 grand higher wow. than where their price point really was. That is interesting. I mean, um, I've recently learned myself uh, purchasing a home that the American dream of buying a home really doesn't go as smoothly as you think in the movies. I mean, you don't find the house, uh, get your funding, and here's your keys. It really is a process that really can be dragged out longer than what people anticipate. Is it important for you to be available for folks um, just being a phone call away? You know, my phone's always with me, except for right now, of course. Okay. And um, you just got to answer as quick as you can. And, and what I find is I just try and keep people calm and any problems I try and take care of, let them know after the fact, because stuff happens so crazy. You know, when you've got 15 people working to get a house, you go in hoping you're going to get it, but you got to be realistic about where you're at and what your offer is going to look like and, and what your chances are of getting something. Like you said, you teach, you basically are, are treating each folks like your students, like you did back when you were coaching. Um, obviously, you're guiding them to be successful, yet success is different for everybody. I mean, different neighborhoods, different budgets, different types of homes. Is it important that you are there to listen to what their needs are, to kind of hone in and, and uh, expedite the process? What I do is I'll sit down with them and find out where they're wanting to look, what what they want in a home and then we can create a search through the MLS that sends them listings all the time they can also get on my co-listing site and they can search themselves you know this day and age so many people get onto Zillow and Trulia 
and the problem with those sites are is their feed is just pulling it off the internet. So once they get leads on the internet there, they don't update them. So people will call and say, hey, I saw this on Zillow. Is it available? No, it's been sold for three weeks, three months. So just trying to train them into looking at the right sites where the houses that they find are truly active, that's probably the hardest thing that I find. Interesting. As they say in sports, you can't win the game unless you know the rules. There are plenty of rules and regulations in real estate. I mean, we're talking about appraisals that don't go right, inspections, and definitely funding that falls through. How important is it for folks to some, have someone, a professional, keeping track of those deadlines? I mean, making sure that we're protecting our interest. Well, you know, definitely that's the part that is important about having a realtor because you know what your deadlines are. You, you get little reminders on your computer what's coming up and working with the right people you have contacts with inspectors and you have contacts with lenders it's people you work with all the time so it makes it way easier for you the consumer to trust in me because i i know these people and we work together all the time and that just helps the process go smooth Interesting. Obviously, not all folks out there are buying their homes. Many folks are selling. I mean, Colorado, why do you think that's a pretty favorable uh, market right now when it comes to selling? Depends on who you ask. You know, with all our new laws that have passed, some people say that's creating things. Of course, most people that come to Colorado love it. So they get here and they think they're going to visit and then they go away and they say, man, I want to get back there. So I, I think it's, it's just where we live. Depends on who you ask, like you said. What about um, when a person is deciding to actually sell their home? How important is the um, market analysis on the front end, making sure they put a price on that that uh, is going to actually get the job done? That's extremely important. And everybody's got their own opinion of what things are worth. So what, what I'll do is I'll run a search and get that market analysis for them and, and show them the highs and the lows of price in that area. And we'll compare it as best as we can. Of course, Sometimes you crush someone's bubble when you say, well, your house is worth this much and they think it's worth more. And what I'll always tell people are, you know, we can list it anywhere you want, mm -hmm. but just know we got to keep a close eye on it. We don't want it sitting there stagnant for too long. So it's a conversation between both because you want your client to feel like they have a part of everything. You just got to keep things as realistic for them as you can so they know where they're at and when things don't go the way you want, you just reevaluate, rework it, and just work together. Excellent. So once we got a great price on it there, it's ready to go. How important is the process of actually staging the home, getting it ready for a walkthrough, and also getting it ready for photos and marketing out there? Are these, are these areas that you're able to help with for folks who haven't gone through that? You know, I tell everybody, remember, you're still living in the house. You hear people say you shouldn't put pictures up of your family. You hear all this stuff. You're living in your house. I think you've got to continue living in your house. I think you need to declutter it a little bit, mm -hmm. make it look as roomy as possible because everybody doesn't have all the same stuff. So we talk about that. When we take the pictures, you want the house cleaned up and looking very tidy and very neat and roomy. So we'll make sure that's cleaned up for that. And, and then you just tell them, make sure that you keep the house as clean as possible, remembering that you are still living in the house. So when people come to look, they're seeing the best the house has to offer. Excellent. Obviously, um, the key to success is is marketing anymore. I mean, gone are the days where we just put up a sign on the front lawn and hope for the best. Like you mentioned earlier, there's many sites out there making sure you pick the, the right ones. I would imagine online marketing has been a real game changer when it comes to the real estate industry. Well, and I mentioned before the Zillow and Trulia, they pick that stuff up, but I'll go into those sites and I'll enter them myself because people just go to Zillow. So most of my buyers, I find, they check Zillow all the time. I keep trying to break them of that, but they check it. So you make sure it hits all those, you know, the realtor, realtor.com and all of those, yeah. just so it meets and matches and finds everything it needs to find. Interesting. Uh, we've spoken a lot about uh, families you're able to help as well as individuals. Um, what about investors out there? I mean, like you say, this is something you did for many years before you even got into the real estate yourself. You managed your own properties. Are you able to help um, not only those who are starting the investment process, but also veterans in the field as well? You know, I've got, I've got a couple friends that are investors that I work with a little bit, but investors all have their own little quirks on how they like to do things. You know, some of them like to deal with the listing broker themselves because they feel like they're going to get a little better deal because that broker could get both sides of the deal. 
So, you know, and in, in this market right now, the way it's gone crazy, it's, it's a tough time for investors right now. You got to find something that needs a lot of work. And that stuff is just flying off the shelves so fast. American. It's a little tough. Is the, is the developing and the actual uh, flipping real estate, uh, remodeling, is that something you still take part in yourself? Or have you stepped away from that a little bit? You know, as you get older, your body doesn't like to get down on its knees and do certain things. Yeah. So I've kind of stepped away from it, although I love to get in and get my hands dirty and work on houses. Excellent. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is his contact information. Basically, you can give him a call. Like he says, he has his telephone on him um, almost all the time, unless he's in the middle of an interview. <laughs> but basically, you can contact him. He's ready and available to help you, whether it be at buying a home for your first time or maybe your second, third home, or also possibly selling your home, making sure that you're going to get um, what it is you deserve here in this market of Colorado. You can also check out his web page there with Colorado listings and basically you're going to see a lot of the testimonials on there of folks that he's been able to help. I mean quite honestly as a coach one of the greatest joys we have is watching our students succeed. Um, this is kind of the same way with you. Is, there, is it rewarding to be able to hand over a pair of keys to a home after you've gone through that process? You know it's great to get to know people go look at houses with them learn about them learn about their family and, and what they do in life and then being able to give them that house and you help to have a part of that, it's, it's pretty awesome. Excellent. Last time, viewers, right there on the bottom of the screen is his contact information. Once again, you can uh, reach out to him, be it buying or selling. Remember that America provides the opportunity for us to buy or purchase property, whether to live in or to basically profit from. And if you're ready to take advantage of that opportunity, you can call Jim Opperman, or as many folks call him, Coach Op. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm here at Luna Massage and Wellness. Since 2014, they have been providing in-house and out-call massage services for folks here in Denver. I'm here with Gabrielle, who is the founder and owner. Let me ask you this. This is a company you began um, just shortly, something that's pretty neat here for the folks here in Denver. Um, let me ask you how it is that you got involved in this type of industry. Um, I was actually going to go to school for pre-med, and the school that I went to didn't have enough anatomy classes for everyone, so you kind of had to pick a class, and um, I was on a wait list, so I ended up just picking massage therapy because there was an opening, and it was hands-on from day one, and I loved it, and I've never turned back, so I'm a massage therapist for life. Wow, that is a cool story. I mean, we're talking about something you just kind of threw in there, ended up being something you're very passionate about. Before we talk about the different types of massages that you offer here, um, let's talk about, first of all, why massage? I mean, why do you think it is people need this type of service today, even more than they did maybe 15, 20 years ago? Well, massage has been around for centuries. Here in the United States, we've kind of drifted from all the earthy goodness that's happening in China and India and all these other places. And as people are discovering the side effects of their medications, of their opioids, of their XYZ, they're coming back around to massage therapy. They're discovering these alternative therapies. So. Yeah. So they're, they're wising up a little bit here in America is understanding that it's good to be preventive on the front end and give our body some support. I mean, let me ask you this. We have uh, in our workplace, um, we are constantly in front of technology. We're in front of iPads, iPhones, um, LED screens, even in our entertainment world. Um, do these things sometimes take a toll on our bodies and uh, our bodies yelling out and saying we need a break? Oh, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of looking down going on, um, getting more and more people coming in for headaches and neck pain. Um, just when I'm walking down the street, I see a lot of forward head posture, which is just where your ears are supposed to be over your shoulders, and they're, just, they're more forward because people are just constantly looking down. 
I imagine, I mean, as we're busier in society, basically the deadlines are more and uh, stress is high, yet activity in the workplace is low. I mean, we're sitting at a desk all day, like you say, looking down, working at our desk. Um, I imagine ergonomically, this is not very good for our body. No, it's not. And that's why when people come in, um, we always check with everyone. What do you do for a living? How do you move in the workplace? How can we help you? That is great. Let's start talking, first of all, a little bit about some of the types of massage that you provide here. I mean, I know there's different modalities, different types from Swedish and whatnot. Start with Swedish. Is this something um, that is unique for folks? And tell me why people seem to like it. Okay. Um, a Swedish massage is pretty basic. It's and when people come in, we, we suggest the therapeutic massage, and that just allows us as a therapist to reach into our bag of tricks, see what's going on with their body, see what we can do for them. So we use all of our modalities at once. I'll use a little bit of Swedish, a little bit of trigger point therapy, deep tissue, Thai massage. Deep tissue, I mean, that's something we hear quite a bit in, in uh, the massage world. What is deep tissue? Is this, is this something that is uh, pretty labor intensive on a, on a masseuse? Um, deep tissue can be. We're trying to go under the superficial muscles. We're trying to get those deeper muscles. So a lot of therapists will push really, really hard with their hands. And we sweat, we perspire. It's hard work. Um, so what we do here is we try to use our forearms. We try to use our elbows. If we need to get on the table, we're getting on the table because um, we have to protect ourselves. I believe that. Let me ask you, for folks out there, um, especially athletes, I mean, they put a lot of demands on their body, many times even end up with injuries. Is this something, as far as sports massage, you're able to help with? I love a good sports massage. Um, I started my career working for chiropractors, um, so I've done a lot of injury treatment whether it's um, chronic neck pain, chronic back pain, but when it comes to athletes, I love treating like um, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, plantar fasciitis. I, everybody's a little bit of a challenge, and I encourage them to come in. Let me see what I can do for you. That is very cool. I mean, so regardless of what, what you're basically using on the table, be it Swedish or deep tissue or that of even Thai massage, is that something that you're able to provide for folks? Absolutely. Um, and like I said, I, I try my best to give people what they want, but I, I kind of turn every massage into a therapeutic massage. They, they come in, they ask for something, and I'm like, well, I can do that, or I can make you feel a little bit better. Wonderful. I mean, you have a location right here that's very easy, accessible here um, in a real busy neighborhood. Um, people can come in and get done, but like we said, society, we're so busy, we put things off more and more. You've made it quite easy for folks because you actually offer out call, which you can go to them. Tell me a little bit about that and why it was important for you. Um, I, I love going to people's houses. There are a lot of people out there with disabilities, um, and a lot of people see the out call service more as a luxury. The rich people are going to get it, but it's so much more than that. If you're wheelchair bound, um, if you have an injury or maybe you're just feeling a little depressed today and you don't want to go anywhere, we will come to you. We will do the massage in your house and we bring everything with us. We bring the whole spa, the tables, the linens, the lotions, the music, everything. Yeah. That is wonderful. I mean, so we're talking about in the privacy of your own home, yeah. people got to love that. Or even in the privacy of their own office. Yes. I mean, you can walk in and check them out there at the workplace. Um, so we do offer corporate massage and it tends to be the seated massage on the massage chair. Um, yeah, we offer all kinds of packages for that, but we can do one to 20 people. We can do an office of 500. Um, we do have a small team that goes out with us. So it's something we can definitely offer every business, big or small. That has to really help for uh, morale in the workplace. I mean, not to mention even employee retention. When people feel better, they work better, they're more productive. And so um, corporate packages, like you say, you have available and a team that can go out. Uh, yeah, there's... Um, there's a whole plethora of benefits for corporate massage. Um, just having your team like you more, honestly. And um, if you offer it and a company that competes with you doesn't, it's going to give people a reason to stay. Um, it's about the same cost of taking your staff out to Applebee's. Wow. Yeah, it comes down to like 10 to $13 a person, which is really cool. More and more I see people um, providing massages at events like that of um, tech shows or even a bride party is that something that's kind of fun to go out and do absolutely so um, the tech shows are really fun um, sometimes we get a very last-minute one like 
hey, we're in town, we're in Denver, can you come down to the something something center? And we're like, um, yeah, we can make this work. And those are fun. We get to meet a lot of cool people. We get to meet the company. We get to meet random people that have traveled here for that event. And then also with the bridal parties, those are fun too. Because the girls just want to have fun. They're drinking mimosas, having their massage. It's a good time. Absolutely. Um, so basically we're talking about here in studio, folks can schedule up and get done. They can be done in the privacy of their own home, possibly in their own office, or even to a, a nearby hotel if you've got people that are in the area. Yeah, hotel massages are really fun. Um, those clients are the clients that we only meet once and we never see them again unless they're traveling for business. Um, so they, they want the pamper. They're like, oh my gosh, or a flight attendants, we get a lot of them. They're like, oh my gosh, I really need a real massage. And those are very last minute. Hey, can you come to the Hyatt right now? It's like, yes, yes, we can. Wonderful. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their contact information. First of all, you can see their website as well. On the website, you can actually schedule right there. Take a look at the different types of uh, massage that they provide for folks. This is a company that began in 2014, easily located right here in Denver, Colorado, in the uh, art district. And uh, basically, you can, you can schedule anything right there, and you can also see all the benefits that massage is able to provide for you. I mean, I, I would think that a lot of people start out with massage because of pain, pain management. Yes. But there are so many different um, benefits that you can acquire with massage as well. Is it kind of rewarding for you knowing that you're providing relief for folks? Uh, the very first massage I did was on a woman who had just had a baby and she had some shoulder pain and she couldn't hold her baby. After three treatments she came to me and she was on my table and she just let me have it. She just started crying and she's like, I just want to thank you. I can hold my newborn baby for the first time. And it, it is rewarding. I get to help so many people in so many different ways. Obviously, um, folks love massage. I don't care if you're male or female or possibly both. Um, tell me what you have, what you offer for couples that I hear is taken off quite well. Uh, we just started a couples massage class. It's a two-hour hands-on course where couples come in and they learn professional massage techniques to use on each other at home. It is BYOB. It's um, either a private class or a small group session up to three couples, and it is selling out. It is so much fun. Everyone needs to come in and take my couples massage class. All the information's online. It's so fun. So you're not only doing good for the individual body, but you're helping some marriages out there as well. Oh, there's a lot of communication that needs to happen, for sure. That is great. I mean, I also see that in 2015, you got the um, an Open Care Award, um, a Patients Award. Tell me a little bit about that. Was that kind of cool? Oh, my God. It was so exciting. It's a Patient Choice Award. Um, so basically, what they did is they looked at the reviews on several websites, all of the massage companies in Denver. And there are 212 massage companies, and we ranked in the top 20. That is impressive. That is very good. Last time, viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their contact information. Um, it really it is easy to basically schedule up an appointment, um, come on into their location here, but also keep in mind that they can come to you as well, especially if you have an event out there, maybe a bridal party or just a place where you want to pamper yourself. Um, possibly you have a work workplace corporate office here that you'd like to um, get some massage done for give them a call it's real easy this is a company that began in 2014 luna massage and wellness this is gary atensi with cntv and if you don't know now you know We hope we've enticed you to try something new this week. Until next time, if you know of a business who you feel the whole city should know about, nominate them, we'll send a reporter out. This is Gary Atencio from CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.
full-service barbershop that caters to men's unique style and personality. Stylists are trained in shaving, haircutting, beard trimming, and designing, shampooing, and styling. Escape into a world of total comfort, relaxation, and rejuvenation. Treat yourself to an experience of a quality haircut, face shaves with a straight razor or safety razor, massage therapy, manicure, pedicure, color, or wax performed by the specially selected Knockouts Girls. Indulge yourself with a unique Knockouts cut, style, or other grooming service. Our first class service includes today's most advanced coloring and hair management techniques and products. Our staff are specially selected and your services are assured. As always, walk-ins are welcome. Don't leave your appearance to just any salon. You deserve the best in men's hair care and grooming. Knockouts, the best place for men's hair care and grooming.